Yo, what is up guys? Today I wanted to talk about team investment and what team you should probably invest in to future-proof your account if you're free to play. Now, each account is going to be different depending on what you pull, but I can tell you one thing from my account, I've been investing into my catastrophe team and I have not regretted it. So, for the most part, I've been just slowly working up all my catastrophes. The only one I can say I kind of regret doing was Camilla because she's actually like... <sighs> She's almost unplayable. It's okay. Uh, if she ever gets a good unit, I'll have some HP UR gear for her in the future. I'll probably spec in the other two pieces, depending on what the other unit in the future is, if we ever get one. But for the most part, these the Contastro team has been aging really well. There's a lot of options for teams for you to run if you have the main core units, and you can kind of switch it up depending on what you want to run. For example, I have a more defensive base build here with Green Valenti. Uh, Lilia, Mono, and Awaken Easton. And then I got a more offensive base. Uh, this is wrong. I was wondering what the hell is going on. Uh, team that has Green Shin on it. That has some utility on it as well. Because Green Shin also provides rank ups. Ooh. I threw out my CC a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, the thing that I've been trying to think about with my Shin. Since all my other units are like mainly like mid-max. For example, if I got a Mono. She's got 60, almost 61k CC with HP defense. With her rolls like completely like mid-maxed. I was thinking about for Shin what I wanted to do with him. And the thing that I was thinking about is like, because I, I switch it up between like, he's got two sets. For example, I got this attack defense set because he can't really crit. I just threw on the defense pieces on him right now because I had attack crit on him, but there was no point. I was thinking about attack lifesteal actually because like he has AoEs and I think lifesteal could be a good option for him, but I'm not sure what the CC. Like, it's obviously going to be lower than defense pieces, but I'm not sure if the payoff would be as good as just rocking defense, you know? Because defense is giving you 20% extra defense, where the lifesteal is giving you 15% more lifesteal. But he's AoE based, so that could be pretty solid for him to surviving, because he's already at 8% lifesteal on top. So I think that could be an option for him, but the CC would be lower. Still debating on that one. Uh, I'm going to hold off. I'm just going to keep him in attack defense, since it kind of works. My Lilia's also got two sets. Uh, her two sets are going to be attack, crit, and... Uh, what's the other set? Uh, attack, crit, and... Or attack, defense, and attack... Defense and HP defense. I thought she'd crit pieces, but they're probably on someone else. I have two sets for her. Uh, I put attack, defense, on or de HP defense She's on her because it's just better CC. It also works with her because of her... Passive, you could go attack crit on her or attack defense on her. It, it'd be good. It, it wouldn't be bad. It's just you'd lower your CC slightly. And then for Easton, she's always been the same type of unit. Uh, I got her at 64,000 CC as well, but she's also an HP defense because she's built to be. So I have a lot of CC in this team just because Lilia's got high CC, Easton's got high CC, and Mono for an attack offense, like for an offensive unit, this isn't the worst. I mean, it's not great by any means. I think you can get probably higher in most units, but I am still missing two. Uh, 400 CC there, so that could get her closer to 62,000. Uh, it, it's not great by any means, but it's not bad. Um, and then Shin CC is just crappy because I have no cosmetics upgraded or all of those outfits bought. And the same for Valenti, you know. I've been saving my resources because one of these units is going to get replaced. So I have been holding off on investing into these units for now until we know what the next catastrophe unit is. Because if it, if it isn't a new Awakened unit, I want to put all my resources into the new Awakened unit. If it's Blue Shin, I put my resources in Blue Shin. If it's Red Valenti, then I have resources. So I've been kind of chilling at a decently invested team. All I have Holy Relics, all really good. So anyway, investment. Team investment is very important. Make sure whatever team you invest in, you're going to want to make sure you want to future proof it. Uh, I know a lot of people rock the Bond team because it's been meta for a long, long time. And you know what? I respect it. If you like playing with Bond, that is it is what it is. If you like Trader Melee, make sure you invest into your Trader Melee team. Uh, sooner or later, the Trader Melee will get an actual, like, what am I trying to say? This, like a second unit for this guy that it will actually help him take off and, you know, hit the meta hard. He's just waiting for another hyper carry with him because he, he needs single target units for his passive so whenever we get another single target potential demon maybe assault assault esterosa he'll be even better than he is now and he already has one of the best if not the best 6-6 ult in the game so you got a lot you got a lot of uh units to look forward to for investing in if for that team if he ever gets his buddy you know a lot of people invested into the one uh he's starting to age but he's still missing two units so once again future proofing your team is fine 
just make sure if you like something enough to invest into it and put the resources into it. That way you can mid-max your team for PvP. So, yeah, that that's for today's small talk. Anyway, we're going to go into PvP. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like, hit the like button and subscribe. We're going to be using this team, the Shin team. Uh, yeah, the Shin team. I have my, uh, I've, I've been enjoying it, I'm not going to lie. The team's been fun. I'm trying to get to Challenger still before reset, but if I don't, I'm not going to be overly torn about it. So I'll see you guys in the matches. All right, let's throw with the first game. What do we got? Ooh, Demon Melee. The thing is, I can't just ult him because that would be bad. Because he could do a lot of damage. So what? I do have a good start, though, to be honest. He's got Sigrid, so that's a thing. Do I want to, do I want to dissolve him? Eh, I'll just skip my turn. I'm not that scared. If I just rush my ults, he can't really prevent me from doing anything. I know that he's got a Sigurd that could really mess up my chin, but we'll see what happens. That's the evasion, thankfully. Nice stack of mono while you're at it. I'm gonna rush for Lilia's ult. Because he's not gonna do any damage if I just ult rush him, right? He could petrify me, but that's fine. So we'll do that. I will do like this. This and this. Get that ultimate online. That way I'm allowed to attack him freely. In fact, I could attack him next turn now. I'd feel a lot more comfortable attacking him next turn because I can apply all the debuffs that I would need to do pretty good damage. Oh, he did nothing there because he didn't extort me. Um, petrifying? Yep, petrifying. It's fine. Know what we can do? Since he's got ult, we can go like this. I can go for Shin's ult next. There we go. 266 ult. I think this will be pretty awesome if we get the actual Edge of Darkness off. That would be uh, pretty sick. Let's we'll see if we can wipe him with two ults. Pretty good damage. Uh, stacking mono up. Uh, Shin took a little bit of damage there, but he's okay. He didn't extort it again, so once again, not going to do anything. Oh my god, the best fry. I might need to ult with Shin. He's got, he's got this. Alright, here's what we can do. Actually. Let's just go for it. F it, let's just do it. I think Shin's got this. I do think Shin's got this, because he does big boy damage. Come on, Shin. Why are you here? Let me see that 6-6 six, six mega damage. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, ah, yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, we got a king team with Leduce heal, but he has no... Is that evade food I sense? It's fine. Either way, we'd do the same shred anyway, right? I'm gonna do this a little bit safer. I'm gonna go with double corrosion, just in case. I'm gonna hold on to Shin's card so I can go for a triple on Shin. If I get another, uh, if I get another one of his cards, I can just rank up everyone right away. I think this is a bot. Yep, it's a bot. It's fine though. You get to see Shin destroy King real fast. Let's see what he does here. He's ranking up. What do you rank up? Pumpkins. And then King. Yep. I mean, that's a fair first move. Too bad he's still dead. I think we just get a field wipe here, actually. Oh yeah, everyone's gonna die. Even go for... Alright. Well, that's GG's. I don't know what he could have in the back that could do anything. <laughs> the one. Okay, we'll just let this play out, because uh, Mono's about to destroy the one. How much do you hit for? You know what? That's respectable damage. How much is Mono stacks? He's got four stacks. That's depressing. Uh, he has alt coming up. So we'll just go like this.
Oh, never mind. Mono, even with four stacks, Mono is gonna tear in this guy's butthole. Remember, she didn't. She still has six stacks to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who is she? All right, let's go to the next one. What do we have? Three single target DPS. Okay, we out CC them. Uh, sus, but I, I, I'll take it. Did I just go with all, uh, should I just go with just straight? Is, will this do more damage? I like this, this. I like Shin would do more damage, but we want to dissolve, don't we? Now we'll just go for it. We'll, we'll let Shin pop off here. I think Shin's gonna pop, Shin's about to pop off. Let's just let Shin do this. He might even kill someone, to be honest. Almost one-shots the, uh, Usak out of the field. That would've been funny. I think this time we can go for Lilia first. That way Shin can get a maximum damage off his Concentrated Fire. Or Concentrate Fire. Oh. Ah, Evasion Food. Okay. I like it. He's taking a little less damage. Interesting. I mean, he, everyone dies this turn, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, I'll go like this. And then... We'll go for his ultimate, why not? Shin's about to pop off here. Two sec, bye-bye. Meliodas and Eskar probably die, right? Yeah, there's Renko. Farewell to you two. We have ultimate, but of course there's a bomb in the back, so I guess we should- Oh my god, he almost fused into his ult. That's crazy. Oh, this might kill him. Yeah, that was a lucky fusion. Holy, the bot got lucky. That is ult already? Okay. Uh, no dissolves. Unfortunate. So we'll like this. This. This to try to get as many as many um, orbs into our thing as possible before he's hitting nuke tier because this guy got a lucky fuse on his bot. I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna die to be honest, but might as well play it safe. Only if Mono could create bond more consistently on our own, that'd be sick. We're all healthy. I think we're okay. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that many orbs on anyone, so except Mono, so this might hurt a little bit. Mono died. That's a interesting play. That, that played out very interesting. Uh, we'll go like this. This. I hope I get another Oxidize. That way we can start applying Oxidize to the guy. Yeah. No Oxidize, but we get Lily's ult next turn, so it's cool. Yep. That is ult already. You can't get it this turn though. I'm gonna actually, that's... Level 1 Oxidite would be pretty helpful. I really want level 2 though, if I'm being honest. It's gonna do level 1 because you're guaranteed to do at least 20% of his health. And then next time we can just remove his buffs and try to kill him. Another level 3, huh? Man's getting lucky in those fusions. He lost his ult, so I think we just go like this. There we go. He should die, right? Even without any debuffs. Yeah, I think he just dies. He got really lucky in those fusions, though. But uh, the bot was not lucky enough. I don't know how he could have been any more luckier, though. To be honest, that was sick. What do we have here? Treader Melee Team. Okie dokie. ICC Treader Melee Team. 331,000. Pretty good. He's using the uh, normal blade on the melee. The one that looks like a, a saw. Don't really like that style to be honest. It just looks a little weird without a actual hilt. Okay. They're going for Lily at turn 1. Very interesting. 
He didn't crit, thankfully. Okay. Nice. We know that he has no evasion food, so we'll just go ahead and beat the guy up. Like this, this, like this. There you go, have that corrosion on top of you. Really nicely done. I like that damage a lot. The lifesteal is pretty good too. What do we get now? On level 2. Oh nice, we get to do the same playing as we did last turn, so I think we can probably kill someone here. Or defeat maybe the one. The one took a lot of damage that turn, so we'll see. Depends how much he life steals back. Is that a level 2? Eh, did okay damage. Not Nothing too crazy. Alright, that did quite a bit of damage there. Two AoEs, huh? I mean, I can just heal it back, thankfully, what you think, so we're okay. Uh, I think we can get the one out of here. I don't know what... Can Gother also get out of here? Oh, actually, I think the one and Gother go away. There you go. Nicely done. Pretty good damage, too. Nice. Even more. Uh, like, he can only hit us twice now, so he's got to pick and choose who he wants to attack. Goddess Liz. I mean, of course it is. Uh, we have to use this debuff first, and I think just go on a shin and spam if he survives. Because our, our cards are kind of, like, ready to merge. Unfortunately, Shin does bite the bullet there, but we fuse into a mono wall, which is huge. This always seems to happen where it's just like those two always died around this time. It's okay. Can I get another spike card? Oh, I do. Okay. So we go like this. Do I want to ult him? We'll go like this. Pretty good damage to start off with. 86k off a of level 1. This is a level 2, so I expect, like, a kill here. Almost a kill. If it would have crit one more time, it would have been a kill. At least she dies from Oxidize. I don't think there's a way for him to come back from that. Or not Oxidize, Corrosion. I think she just gets wrecked from Corrosion. And then we just go in there and kill her. This is very deja vu right now. Yep. Die. Thank you very much. Uh, like that, I guess. She just doesn't do any damage to blue units, but she can control Melly's ult at least a little longer. Watch her have another stun, or watch this guy have another stun. It always seems to be the case with Elizabeth. They always have two stuns in their hands every time. Ceases to fail. He's gonna lock up my whole hands. I didn't check the Meliodas' ult either, so I should probably do that. Is that a stun? Or is that a barrier? It's neither, okay. What's your ult level before I freak out? 1-6. That's not very scary. So we go, can go, we can go like this. You're dead on, like... Off of this, so it's okay. Luckily, I can heal myself and put corrosion on him. I didn't want to ult because I want to make sure I have enough ult, like gauges into my uh, ultimate to make this a little bit less painful on me. I wish I can get more oxidizes, man. Oxidizing in this scenario is super good. Yeah, that's fine. That's uh, fine. He's gonna take some. Yep. Let's go ahead and start working him down, I guess, with this. And then. I'm hoping that's gonna crit. He's got one guard in his hand. I'm gonna hold on to this and hope for a merge. But we'll go like. That. Wait until we can get our stats back up. Oh, we got the crit too? Oh, I should've just went in. What the hell? He dies. He, there's nothing he can do. He just dies from corrosion and. Ah. Uh, so that's game. That is a game. He got hit so hard right there. Sorry, guy, you're dead. <laughs> Bleed just whooped his ass. Oh my god, Mato's like, yeah, I got this. 
to put the carry on her back. I'll go buy one more. Alright, Gother, Melly, and the one. We have to be careful of rank ups here, because like he can actually ranking up could actually hurt us here. Cause we when we rank up, we rank up everything, which is kinda nice. But against Gother, that'd be really bad. But we'll see what happens here. Okay, it looks like they're targeting Lilia, not Shin. I'm down. There we go. Don't purple card me, please. Actually, it wouldn't matter. That's that she's gonna heal up just fine. Okay, let's do the let's let's get this going. We definitely want to dissolve though. Nice. We're we're gonna do decent damage to best go through, I feel like. The one is getting definitely destroyed. He's already below half his health. Nice. Everyone's pretty much at half health or less. That's that's kind of nice. Uh, we didn't get the same good RNG though. We need another dissolve card, but we can just we can just kill the one next turn, I suppose. Depends if he uh, wants to use his purple card. He's going for the damage reduction on Melee. Okay. We get to use level 2, at least. Alright, Shin lives. Perfect. Do I want to... Yeah. We're gonna do this. That will kill him, and then we just go like this. And try to kill... Kill, uh... Gother as well. I should have double AoE'd. Oh well, that's fine. Just make sure Goker's uh, chopped up real good before he just falls off the field. Who do you have in the back? Who do you have in the back? Goddess Liz, of course you do. Okay, so. That's a, that's a, that's a thing. Uh, he's gonna AoE probably again to kill the two on the side. It's always like this. He could stun Mono. Yeah, he's gonna stun. That's another option. Not going to kill Shin, though. Interesting, indeed. Can I get a debuff? I can. I guess we go like this. Whenever the game lights my. Bam. 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 At least we have the debuff, so Shin can actually, you know, rank up everyone as well. Nice. This should do more damage. We're actually doing really decent damage with Shin. <laughs> He's gonna die probably if he gets hit twice, but I don't think one hit will kill him, so that's nice. Uh, we don't have any debuffs, so what we might have to do is... Shin's gonna die, actually, if he AoEs us again. Not surprised there that he died like that. Okay. Like this. I'm just gonna get her out of here, I think. With this. This should kill, right? Pretty much. If she doesn't bury her up, she'll she'll pop death. Or the death will get to her. We'll see though. Level 2 Oxida is really good for setting myself up for next turn. I can go with two AoEs next turn and really do some work if I don't get stunned, that is. Uh, I'm hoping we don't get stunned. Could possibly happen. Okay. If we can just kill Liz next turn, that's all I really care about. Nice. If he's not 6-6, six, six, we're, just, we're just golden. What, what's your all level? little high, but not concerning to me. We just go like this and kill the Liz. She just dies because she's got no HP. We're also getting Corrosion and Oxidize on top of Meliodas. So if he uses and anything, it'll do even more damage. Uh, we just gotta survive this, which I think we should survive this just fine. He didn't get any rank ups in his hands though, fortunately, so. Oxidize does last a few turns. Yeah, I think we're okay. Nice. We just gotta heal up real fast. I think we go like this. 
like this, merge those together, and get ready to fight him with a, a secondary ult, which will be Easton's. Pretty good damage. Uh, we got no Oc. We, we already got Oxidize on him. This is just to get the ultimate. Okay. He should go for the Easton kill, because he's got her ultimate. If not, he just dies from Easton ult, I would assume. She is nerfed, though, so... Yep. Sail will this does. Nice. Uh... Our stats are still lowered, to be honest. But... How do I want to do this? I'll, I'll still go with it. I think if we can just get one crit off, we're good. Yep, we got the one crit off. Bleed is still on. I think we just win here. We're full HP. He doesn't have level 3. I don't think he can one-shot us. So, I think we're good. Oh, our, our, our debuff's gone, so he just dies. He might heal up a little bit here, though. Goodbye, good sir. Eat Melly can't 1v1 the mono. Let's go. Let's check out the damage real fast. Damage dealt. Yep, mono has just got high damage. I know Trader Melly's got a lot of damage, but like, if you look at the rest of his team, literally no one else did anything, because Escanor is outdated, Liz is just annoying, and Gother's just annoying. <laughs> Alright, so we need one more game, but I don't think I have the friend coins to even do one more game to get into the Challenger. So we have to wait 24 minutes. Let me see something real fast. Yeah, I just don't got the friend coins. Uh, I don't want to spend a diamond either, so... Alright guys, it's going to be it for this video. I'll get into Challenger pretty soon. So on reset, I'll be back with Champ 1 anyway. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And before you guys go, just remember, if you're going to invest into the team, invest into one team if you're free to play and really invest, invest in it for your PvP experience to be a bit better. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.